Hello Libra and welcome to your soul coaching session with me, Angel, your spiritual life and self-actualization coach. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Libra placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. And for a limited time, if you subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family, you can also receive a free astrology report as well. All of that information is listed in the description box below. So go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and that bell. I would love to have you as a part of the Soul Joiner family. So this channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now. So whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a road map towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. What messages do we have coming in for the soul sign of Libra spirit? What does Libra need to know for their highest vibrational good? And so it is. Thank you, spirit. I am so grateful. I trust that these messages find you in sound mind, body, and spirit, and that you are well and always beautiful souls. Your overall message? Oh, uh, Spirit wanted me to take that one. Let's see. Let's see energy. Let's see what comes out. I was kind of being drawn to take that one and I pushed it back in. I just want to make sure the right message that you need comes out. So you have the energy of challenge challenge it's all about being strategic something here that you need to be strategic about so let's see what's going on with you libra messages for the collective soul sign of libra what does libra need to know this same message came out for one of the earth signs i want to say it might have been capricorn so if you're connected to a Capricorn, if you have Capricorn placements anywhere in your chart, I'm not actually getting the exact same message that I got for Capricorn when I first seen this card. When I first got this card for Capricorn, the first thing that I thought of when I heard the challenge, I saw that you were up for the challenge, right? That, that you know, they were very skilled, and very capable, and very knowledgeable, and they were up for the challenge and not a pushover and nothing to mess with but when i first seen this energy coming up for you libra the first thing came to my mind is being strategic having a strategic plan putting a plan in place being 20 to 25 moves ahead like a true master is how this energy is coming through i'm being drawn to the crown of the purple i'm being drawn to the crown chakra <clears throat> And she also has purple in her hair. But the crown chakra energy really drew me into the thought perspective of her being completely in tune with her psychic sense and connected to source. And I'm also being drawn to the veil in the back. Oftentimes I think of high priestess energy as Libran energy. And I'm getting that with the, the drapes in the back. I'm almost getting like high priestess energy coming off of this card. So let's see what messages are coming in. Why are we here? Yeah, it's all about your higher spiritual perspective. You are definitely connected to source energy and a higher vibration of light. You're in tune with your higher self. You channel messages and energy from source. You're also very skilled, right? Very educated. And you're very educated on the knowledge of life. You have the connection between the universal world as well as the spiritual world and that how this energy is coming through you're also being demonstrated or showing up as a teacher and as a guide however that energy is coming in for you or this is something that you're focused on or something that you're doing you could be in the pastoral cares you could be in some other form of um metaphysical physical physical 
metaphysical or um, philosophical types of teaching or education or or a high spiritual practice of some time of some kind so let's see where's going on in your connections libra in your connected energy you have movement right so there's either some messages that are coming in from you from someone or something or you're in the process of change there's a transition or a shift that you're going through i'm really thinking that it has to do with this hierophant energy i'm being brought into the same color spatter cutter I cannot speak for some reason. <laughs> I know we got Mercury. Mercury. Oh, my goodness. Like Mercury in retrograde or what? I mean, well, you know, I know that we have Mercury in retrograde and it's like that energy. Yeah, I'm extremely tongue tied right now. Matter of fact, let me check my notes. When is Mercury coming? It stations direct on 118. So I'm still, ugh, I don't know, something going on with the day. Let me see. Okay, so today, and I'm, yeah, when I'm putting these messages out is Wednesday. So definitely, it's that energy of Gemini, it's the energy of Virgo, it's the messages they're coming through. So messages, slow down a little bit so I can grab a hold of what the messages are. So this is all about movement forward. I'm really thinking that this high keen sense of intuition that you have going on here with this Hierophant energy, it's all about your transformation. I really feel as if though you're transforming into this higher spiritual being, into someone who's more grounded and more connected with source energy. Let's see what's going on in your current energy vibration, Libra. You're coming to a sense of calm and peace. This is a sense of emotional tranquility. This is an energy that talks about you being connected to your inner child and being connected to your current space and place of where you are. Your comfort, you're also, you also provide comfort. You create an environment of conducis, conduciveness, inclusiveness, and connection is how this energy is coming through. I'm also getting like counselor therapy, therapist energy from this card. It's like, for me personally, I, I am a Libra, and maybe that's the reason why it's coming through, but I study behavior development over the lifespan, and this is the energy that I'm getting here. Behavior development over the lifespan, understanding how people grow, expressing and sharing how people grow and evolve, how to move through developmental steps, how to go through developmental milestones, why it's so important to secure foundational developmental milestones before you ascend and age and development because you need those structures you need those underpinnings you need those philosophies those morals you need that original foundational information that we get as children in order to build upon so this like building of a moral character or having a moral character that's built on peace, on calm, and on love and connection. So let's see what's going on in your environment and in your body. Justice, here goes your Libra and energy coming out. Yeah, I love this energy. It's like you're showing up all over your reading. I was getting high priestess energy. Now we have Libra and energy. We also have Herophot energy, which is all about the energy of Taurus. And it's also the energy of Venus. So it's something here about the love, the love that you give and the love that you receive, how you express love. You radiate the vibration of love and you help to transmute difficulties, traumas, um, problems. You help to transmute that energy and you help people to heal. It's all about of your karmic spirit. This is your body, your vessel energy here. And it's all about who you are at your innate core. You demonstrate balance. You demonstrate truth and loyalty. You demonstrate right decision, right action. And then you also um, require it or, or um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Not require it. You, you, in a sense, you demand it as well. You demand what you put out in the world, you expect and demand that in return. So if I'm being fair and just with you, I expect fairness and just back. If I'm giving you truth, then I expect truth back. And so you live your life by a moral code of do unto others as you would have them do unto you is how this energy is coming through. Let's see what's changing in your life, beautiful Libra. You moving in a new direction. 
there's a brand new direction in your life in which you're embarking upon. You could be weighing out the pros and cons, looking at how you want to take this next step in your life. It is in the energy of your finances. So it ha may have to do with the career change or a job change or a relocation too. You could be relocating, moving away from where you grew up as a child or moving back. I just heard for some of you, some of you are moving away from home where you were born and raised and some of you are moving back to do some type of work to help to heal your community or help to heal others is how this energy is coming through for some of you you're moving away and you're moving and going on a brand new journey in your life that is a part of your soul destiny so let's see what's going on in your connections balance yeah do unto others as you would have them do unto you it's the energy of reciprocity and having the energy of complete balance I started this reading last night and I'm, I'm telling you three of the I had three cards on the board and three of these six cards um, are out here again. So it's letting me know that the energy vibration is consistent. These are the messages that you are intended to know. And this energy here is all about reciprocity and balance. You're living in that existence as much as received, as much as given. I'm really getting this is a, a recent lesson that you may have learned. You know, maybe in the past you were overextending yourself, giving more to others than you were getting back in return. But you've wised up in a lot of ways. You understand now that in order for you to maintain your own personal balance, especially with in your mind body and spirit as well as within your environment that you're going to have to require the same in return and that's how this energy is coming through that you've learned now as much as received is as much as given do unto others as you would have them do unto you and keep all things balanced in your life and that's how Libra and stay grounded so I can really see that upon your path there's still this stress and worry here there's something that you're worried about about your path right I don't think it has to do with am I moving in the right direction am I doing the right work I don't think it has anything to do with that I'm almost getting here is this is an energy of suffering and silence about something there's something that you're not you're not acknowledging thank you spirit I was about to say there's something that you're not saying and then before I could even get that thought out of my head spirit was like nope not acknowledging there's something here that you're not acknowledging you're avoiding the intuition intuitive messages you're in you're avoiding the downloads from spirit there's something here that you're not seeing and if it doesn't come out in the rest of the spread then we'll go back and clarify this energy because this is the energy that talks about your path it talks about your destiny and your purpose and how you're meant to move forward it's either a connection from the past maybe it has something to do with your spiritual pursuits has something to do with reciprocity but you're not getting those messages I can definitely see that or you're avoiding them there's something here that you're not seeing you're not acknowledging or bearing witness to and that's why you maintain in this state of stress this is also my fight or flight energy. It's the um, post-traumatic stress energy. You could have been through something extremely toxic in your childhood. You know, there is something here from that early core development that is a foundational part of your structure. And maybe this is why you work to help help heal other people, especially if they've gone through similar life experiences as you. Childhood trauma here. I'm getting the energy of like the aces, ace scores. You know, how many childhood traumatic experiences have you had before the age of 18? How many childhood or how many additional what we call co-committant or, or um, exacerbated experiences of complex trauma that you've had since the age of 18? How much of that has been repetitive and concurrent traumatic experiences and that brings you into this energy of post-traumatic stress or constant anxiety fear and worry or that state of fight or flight so let's see what's going on with your current spiritual practice you need to be in the energy of balance and peace so however you need to get there right thoughts right mind it could be the energy of affirmation it can be the energy of meditation definitely always stay in prayer Sometimes I don't, I, I do mention, I'm story I'm storytelling. I do mention prayer as a part of spiritual practice, but that should be a given that we stay in prayer, that we stay connected to our higher self, that we st stay connected to universal energy, 
that we always stay open. But this is an energy of blessing, abundance, and peace. So there's something here about needing to stay in peace. And we already know how Libras stay in peace is by staying balanced, by staying in an energy of calm, by staying out of an energy of stress, anxiety, and worry, and by staying in tune with themselves and with their higher source. So let's see, how are you evolving personally and professionally? You're going after your dreams or you're in the energy of accomplishing your dreams. This is something that you're meant or destined to do here. This is a part of your destiny. This is a part of your path. So this energy is coming through. You're evolving into your authentic, true self, right? You're coming into the wholeness of who you truly are. I'm getting that, that energy of being unapologetically you. And look, now I'm being brought to the crown chakra energy in the Libra card, which is also radiating that violet. I always think of it as the violet flame of transmutation and healing, but it's also that energy of intuition. Identifying, this is almost coming into me like the energy of the, um, the, the, um, uh, what am I thinking here? like the pond's brain you know it's the energy from which all life all thought all form is created it's bringing me to that energy of all is mind so there's this energy here of being balanced in all aspects of mind body spirit and emotions but you're going after your destiny you're fulfilling your destiny with this energy here and you're showing up authentically in yourself you've been through lots of trials and tribulations and hardships to get you to this point but the thing about you libra is you're aware right you're very highly skilled in the metaphysics you're very highly in tune with the spiritual you're very highly educated in your energy of life and philosophy in the world as well as in you know um communication religion i'm getting psychology psychiatry you know math skills you're just very educated and skilled this is higher levels of education here beyond just the energy of what we would receive out of like a bachelor's or master's degree this is like an energy of being ascended into higher philosophies higher realms of understanding food for knowledge you know more of an energy of um a higher level of knowledge or, or 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 metaphysical education here is how this energy is coming through definitely in tune with the astrological energies you could be an astrologer you could study astrology you could read the stars you could um, have an astrological business or something that you're doing or maybe that's something that you're creating spirit just said you know this is something that you may be being drawn to create is the energy here of reading the stars, helping other people to understand themselves at a soul signature level. So let's see, what is your life story? What's evolving, transmuting, and changing in your life? Overcoming the energy of deception. Overcoming the energy of fear. When you walk by faith and not by Satan, you always allow the divine energy to lead you. You overcome any energy of fear. The hardest thing that we have to accomplish here in the material world and what we like to call um, is overcoming our cardinal nature, you know, our personal desires for pleasure and pleasure seeking and gratification and things that can become impulsive, things that can become overindulgent. And this is the energy of the devil when you're being tempted to do things that you know you shouldn't do. It uh, brings me back. I don't know if this was on 60 Minutes. It was on one of those shows. Remember how they used to put the kids in the room? I'm pretty sure you saw the shows or, or a lot of you have. It depends on what age range, which I really love this because I look at my analytics and and the most people that watch my videos are between the ages of 35 and 65, which is really, really awesome for me. You know, even though I study child and developmental psychology, I um, really talk at that higher level of self-actualization. And those are the ages that you really start to think about what's the meaning and purpose in my life? What am I meant to do? Or am I showing up in my fullest and authentic self? Am I where I need to be in my life at this point in time? And how am I meant to move forward? And that's how these soul coaching sessions are set up to really help you to understand where you are along your journey and how things are evolving for you in 15 different aspects of your life that relate to your ability to manifest. And so these aspects and energies come up to help you to understand how to navigate 
your current condition to move into the direction that you want for your fruitfulness and fulfillment. And so I think about it when they used to leave the kids in the room and they'd have the cameras and the kids would be, and we do this at an early age, right? It goes back to our early childhood development. We do this at an early age. We, we learn right from wrong a lot of times through our experiences, but we always have that inner core compass of morality. A lot of times as we evolve and grow, we lose it. It's almost like racism, right? Like no child comes out racist. They learn it from the environment. And so we always struggle as therapists, psychotherapists and psychologists and people who study human behavior in the mind, how much of it is nurture, how much of it is nature? What's the difference between the two? And how do we reshape that programming in order to help people heal? And that's how this energy is coming through for me. How do we reshape the early childhood programming in order to bring in healing? And so there's a lot of healing energy here, healing energy here. This is also healing energy here. This is a healing energy through the energy of acceptance and being able to show up as your authentic self. Not feeling as if though you have to put a mask on in order to be liked or in order to be loved or in order to be accepted. Being accepted for who you are and being authentically true to you. And this energy here, kids will, you know, they have that moral compass on the inside. And sometimes you would see the children that would do what the directors told them not to do or asked them not to do. And then you would also see the children that wouldn't engage. And they're like, no, no, we're not supposed to do that. So we can really get a glimpse into how we think, how we move in our lives. Are we tempted by the pleasures and outside nature? This is an energy that talks about materialism as well. Are you tempted by greed, right? Are you going to be tempted back into the same cycles? Because it's all about learning from past experiences. And there's something here that's tempting you, trying to draw you back in. You could have definitely ascended and evolved past certain aspects or levels. If you've ascended to the energy of the star, then this is a very high vibrational, very in tune energy. Right there, there, there's very minimal roadblocks and obstacles past the energy of 17 besides being able to face your shadow, integrate your shadow, use your shadow, allow your intuition and overcome your fears and to actually show up in your conscious soul to accomplish what it is that you're meant to accomplish. Moon energy is all about that past life energy and fulfilling your karmic blueprint here in this carnation. And then you go into the energy of a sun. That's full enlightenment. That's being in the energy of source all the time. That's the energy of abundance. That's almost the highest vibrational energy that we can ascend to. And then there's the energy of judgment. Judgment is coming to that crossroads and being authentically true within and oneself and actually ascending to the next level, right? It's almost like that's when we truly freely free ourselves from the matrix energy, from what we believed life to be, right? To what we know life to be, what we've learned life to be throughout our journey. And then the 21 energy is complete release from the matrix and the ascension into the all. That's the energy to be able to astral travel and to, um, um, to quantum leap and to be able to be all places and all at all times, truly knowing who you are. I am not my body. I am not my mind. I am the observer of my mind and I am the um, orchestrator of my body because I understand that I'm a divine spiritual being living a physical existence. And so there's this temptation here. Oftentimes it's temptation of the earthly world or it's temptation of um, the underworld is how this energy is coming through. Temptation by pleasure, greed, power. Those are some of the things that often block us from our path and our destiny. So however that energy is resonating for you, there's something that's coming up, Libra, that's trying to block you off for your path and destiny because of the huge evolution and shift and change. This is also something that you'll be able to share with others, that each one teach one energy. The life story that you'll be able to talk about <clears throat> 
is how you've been able to slay the devil within and how you've been able to overcome temptation but live a fulfilled life right because your spiritual path and your spiritual practice is all about living a life of fulfillment i think this devil energy has to do with something that's blocking your path here this could not even be your energy this nine of swords energy this could be someone or something else that's kind of blocking your path here and it could have to do with connection so be mindful if you have any messages coming in any text messages or you know messages that come in for you um, from someone of your past you know someone that you had to deal out a dose of karmic lessons or karmic balance to to help them to understand that life needs to be fair equal and balanced at all times and that you can't take and never give is how this energy is coming through because that's one of the traits of materialism it's all about me 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 it's a selfish energy it's a self-seeding energy it's a never fulfilled or emaciated energy it's like always wanting more 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 nothing ever being enough right and that's the reason why we have the energy of temperance is to realize that everything in moderation everything in perfect timing there's no rush with things things need to flow there's a natural order to life and allowing yourself to live within that rhythm and that order will help you to overcome any toxic roadblocks i, I once spoke to a young lady <clears throat> we used to work together <clears throat> And we were sitting, sitting on our shift and we were talking one night and she was talking about her grandfather, who's a pastor, had told her that you encounter seven devils along your journey. You encounter seven devils along your journey that are come into your life to help to knock you off of your path. It's seven is significant, right? Because seven is the energy of divinity. And once you can come into the fullness of who you truly are and you're able to master your shadow and your light, you're able to navigate the world and to pull yourself forward. And this energy here, there's something that's coming in. So you may want to journal. You may want to reflect. Think about how many of those devils, right, karmic energies that have come into your life to knock you or deviate you off of your path and see what number you're on. Because the number of the devil that you're on is very significant as well. They come into your life at different times in order to help to deviate you away from your purpose, from coming into full actualization of who you are meant to be. So be mindful of that. Let's see what's going on in your management of your time and your actions. Take time to stay balanced. Yeah, it's the same energy here stay take time to stay grounded stay in an emotional content space continue to tap into that energy of emotional intelligence having the energy of empathy and self-actualization self-awareness self-regulation the ability to have keen decision making being impeccable with your words and opening up and speaking your truth this is also an energy that talks about tapping into your intuition, but it's bringing the energy of balance, right? Scorpionic energy as well. And when we think about scorpionic energy, we think about the deep depths of our soul. We also think about the energy of past life. Past life transmutation energy as well also comes through when we think about scorpionic energy. Because scorpionic energy is all about how we're transforming and changing into who we're destined to be, who we're meant to be. It is a complete metaphor, metamorphosis. But then you also have the energy of integrating the shadow and the light here. And that's one of the things that we, we don't always realize that is necessary. We see it in the chariot, understanding the power of the masculine, divine masculine, divine feminine energy, and how they're both needed in order to help you to move forward, to bring you victory and success in your life. And then we see it again with the temperance energy. It's the ability to integrate that energy and to transmute negative energy into positive energy. And then we also see it again in the justice energy, when we're meant to balance between right action, wrong action, and realizing this world has an energy of cause and effect. And what we put out will definitely come back. And there's an energy here of something that's coming back that is a part of your destiny. It's also a part of your past, too, is how this energy is coming in. And then we have the realization of with that uh, scorpionic energy that there's some energy of secretness and seductiveness here. So just be mindful of someone who may be trying to come in and to, ch I, 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 no, 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 go on your pad. Sorry about that, I'm puppy training. 
one of the things that you need to realize with the scorpionic energy is someone could be trying to come in and um, seduce you, right? Trying to use sex as a way to tempt you and to lure you back in. So just be mindful of that. What's going on in the energy what you're gra grateful for? Grateful for the brand new beginnings. You're grateful for spirit. You're grateful for your connection to spirit right at the third eye. And I get that very keenly with you. You are grateful for the connection that you have with spirit, your connection to your higher self. That's beautiful energy. I love that. And you also are grateful for all of the blessings because you realize with connection with spirit, you know, you always have new beginnings because you can always end whatever you don't feel is in alignment with your highest good. Right. That's strategic energy. And you can always move to something new. That is your personal power and choice is that you always have the power to choose. You always have the power to shift and move in a new direction. That's that chariot energy. That's where your power lies. A chariot will change and move in a different direction at the drop of a dime. Once they're aware, OK, this is not the direction I need to go and boom, they're off into another direction. They understand the power of their ability to transform and change and to bring change in their life and have brand new beginnings. It's like the energy of the sun. The sun waxes and wanes as well. We have a time of darkness and a time of enlightenment, or we have a time of rest and a time of wake. And so that's the awareness and the understanding that if I don't like my current circumstances or situations, I always have the power to change it or power to choose something different. And so you understand that power and you're very grateful for it. Let's look and see what the energy that you're in. Are you in your fullest and highest form? I don't know why I keep pulling from the bottom of the deck. So this is the energy of you being balanced and being stable. Balanced and stable and in the vibration of accomplishment and happiness. This is very good energy to be in, especially when we're looking at the energy of being yourself. Because Libras are always trying to stay balanced. So as long as you can stay balanced, you can stay open, and you can stay connected, you got everything that a Libra needs. Positive, loving, uplifting relationships, ability to open up and communicate, trustworthiness. The energy of discernment, the energy of impartiality, nothing is right or wrong, it just is. There's that awareness of that. And with that awareness of that, you'll always have stability. And what this stability is, and this is stability in spirit and stability in life. And so this is the energy that you're being yourself, being your best self, is being happy and being stable. And you realize that. I love it. So let's go to what's going on in your money mindset. Seven of Wands energy, you're elevating, right? There's, I, I love this energy coming here because of the money mindset. Because what this is telling me is you're understanding that money is more than monetary, it's more than material. You realize that finances and money is an energy. And you have to be in the energy of attracting in order to pull in what it is that you desire. You know, bring down from the heavens your earthly desires manifest here in the physical realm. And you realize that it's all about the energy vibration. As long as I can stay in the high positive energy vibration, I can stay focused on what it is that I dream and I desire. I stay emotionally balanced and I allow myself to receive. And the most, the most important key to abundance is it has to flow. You have to be charitable and giving. You cannot take, 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 take and never give because that creates an imbalance and that holds off the energy flow and that will disconnect you from abundance. But your realization and awareness that you always need to be in the energy vibration of giving, you will always be in the energy vibration of receiving. So you attract in what it is that you desire. Let's see, how are you expanding and what is your comment? Brand new beginnings. Your culminating energy is that you have a brand new beginning here and you're aware of it. You're just in the energy of being strategic, planning things out, figuring out your next moves, putting a practical plan in place and looking forward to your next 25 moves. So let's see what's influencing this energy balance. Yeah, it's all about balance for you, Libra. You're balancing out. This is also my integration of your spiritual and your physical bringing heaven down to earth, living in the energy of that high vibration, that high existence, the energy of 
the Ten of Cups, blessings, abundance, fulfillment, and grace. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's go ahead and look and see what we have coming in for this energy. This is an energy of challenge. Challenge energy. Challenge, strategy, test, opposition. It is time to raise the bar. Rise up to the challenge at hand and see what is in front of you as an opportunity to grow. Find people who challenge you. When you aren't challenged, you'll get stale and stuck and won't move forward or get to your goals. There are many ways to face challenges. Look at employing tactics and carefully considering plans to remain focused. A good strategy will allow you to clearly prioritize and ensure you will reach your goal. You may find at this time that your plans are being opposed and you feel that people are in competition with you. While this may be true, you have the final say as to how you will conduct yourself during this time and what outlook you will, you will have. Direct your energy into something constructive. It is time to embrace your inner warrior and see that confrontation is sometimes needed. Check your energy when it comes to confrontations in your life. Are you going head first? into things like a wrecking ball with little consideration for others or do you retreat from all confrontation even when standing up for yourself and others is needed your affirmation libra i am ready to go to the next level and your journaling prompt and personal reflection what areas in my life can i seek more challenges that has been your soul coaching session beautiful libra thank you so much for allowing me to read for you I am honored and I am truly grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share this video with those that you believe could benefit from the messages. And subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Jordan family where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, Happiness and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant day. Namaste.